Welcome to Showroom TV. I'm Thomas. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas. We're now heading right to the end of 2009. It's not many days left and I thought let's take it as an outlook, a chance to watch at 2010's contenders and I'm going to present to you the movies to watch out for, the movies that are most likely to take the crown and then some that are on the side interesting project from my point of view. So let's get right into it. Number one movie on the agenda to watch out for next year, Alice in Wonderland by Tim Burton with his wife Helena Boehm Carter with his best buddy Johnny Depp and it's the story of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, so what else can I say? There is a place like no place on earth. Some say to survive it, you need to be as mad as a hatter, which luckily, I am. Alice, it's you. You're back. Alice? Alice! See? Alice? You're absolutely Alice. I'd know you anywhere. You're all late for tea! Alice has returned to Wonderland. Since you've been gone, the Red Queen has taken over all of Wonderland. Find her! Help us make the world right again. And then we come into May, and May 7th marks the day of the sequel. It's Iron Man 2, it's more, it's bigger. Chittle in there as War Machine, you have Samuel A. Jackson as Nick Fury, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Whiplash played by Mickey Rook. It's big, it's large, the trailer looks promising. A week after Iron Man 2, it's Robin Hood. Ridley Scott at the helm, Russell Crowe, Vanessa Redgrave, Kate Blanchett. It will be really interesting to see Ridley Scott's take on this fantastic saga. Maybe we'll create a new generation who doesn't think that Robin Hood is a fox. I cannot speak for this king. He is the only king we have. But not the only hope. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Are you ready to be who you are? Rise. And rise again. Until lambs become lions. In 2009, this year, one of the biggest hits at the box office was Ice Age 3. Now it's not Ice Age 4 that's coming out next year, but I'm making this point to show you that family entertainment is still the crown jewel of blockbuster success. Shrek 4th is scheduled to arrive. We have come to the final chapter, and I am afraid our hero has fallen victim to a terrible curse. Oh no. From DreamWorks. Fiona. What's happening? Donkey! <gasps> it's me. I've never seen you before in my life. Uh, puss? <gasps> what happened to you? I may have let myself go a little, but I have all the cream I can drink and all the mice I can chase. Mm. Eh. I'll get him later. DreamWorks. Shrek Forever After. I told you, May is gonna be insane. Producer Jerry Brockheimer, director Mike Newell, Jack Gyllenhaal, Prince of Persia, The Sense of Time. The gods have a plan for you, a destiny. We have to get out of here. Next 
one I'm just gonna flick through Sex and the City 2 scheduled for a release around May June in 2010. You haven't seen anything yet. And now the reason why Shrek 4 is under pressure, Pixar's bringing back Toy Story. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> to reset your Buzz Lightyear, insert paper clip. Rex, use your finger! Rex, go! Did you fix Buzz? Pitágora espacial. Uh, sort of. Oh, like an Oh no. Oh yes, return of the astronaut. So this is gonna be huge, believe me. You don't have to be an oracle to predict that one. And the next one, scheduled for July, it's from Christopher Nolan, the man behind Batman: The Dark Knight. It's starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Marion Cotillard. Ellen Page and the great Michael Kay and it's Inception. somehow inside the mind with a lot of special effects and it's dark and it's Nolan this is gonna be great so last but not least for the big blockbuster lineup of course Harry Potter 7 part 1 they divide it into two parts the Deathly Hallows part 1 in cinemas next year and yeah of course always Harry Potter heavyweight big contender <laughs>